Let's get started guys with a brand new full walkthrough and guide for someone that's never played Path of Exile. We're going to take you from the start all the way to the end. And instead of giving you like a 10 minute video on things that will help out, I'm going to do the full walkthrough and guide. So that's what this video is for. It's for someone that's never played Path of Exile. I'll get you through everything. So our league starter is going to be a ice shot slash lightning arrow build. It's one of the best league starters. Even if you want to play something else, you need to start off with a good league starter so you can start farming up, getting your items, and then you can use your items to trade for other items for other builds that may be only end game oriented but let's go ahead and start so obviously you, you hit login then we're going to create a brand new character because if it's your first time you're going to have no characters so at the very beginning we're going to select necropolis it should be selected by default this is the brand new league this is the new expansion so this is the seasons so to speak if you maybe it came from diablo so necropolis over here is what we want to make sure is selected don't select the other ones and don't check in any of these boxes. It's going to make your life a lot more difficult. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And we are going to be selecting the uh, Ranger, although you could select Scion and you can select Shadow for what we're going to be doing. But for the most part, just copy it exactly. If it's your first time playing the game, this game is not easy at all. You will absolutely get lost if it's your first time and you can actually break your build quite easy if it's your first time. So let's go ahead and get started and we're going to do everything together. So the reason why I'm putting uh, Necrop is because that's the league. So I know that this character is for the Necropolis League. So now we're going to get started. Now, the first thing that you want to do uh, with this and what I recommend this walkthrough to be is a full walkthrough guide for you to maybe throw on your phone or your other monitor and kind of play with me side by side. So in the very beginning, you pick up the bow. The next thing that you definitely want to do is go into options, go into your uh, like input. You want to make sure that you have the correct keybinds for whatever you want to actually play. Um, keep in mind, everyone has different keybinds. I'm going to select Q for my movement. A lot of people like move only on the left uh, mouse click over here. It's kind of up to you. Uh, later, we're going to get a skill, so we'll put it in other slots. But this is kind of our skill. Mana is on right side. HP is on left side, just like Diablo. But another thing that I would really recommend you to do on the landscape transparency under the options over here. I'll move my face out of the way for a second. Go into UI and then you'll see landscape transparency. This gets rid of a lot of the clutter. And then um, you also, if you want to, for the map zoom, I like it zoomed all the way out. Those are the two things that I recommend. But as far as like screen shake and all these other things, these are my settings. Feel free to copy them if you want to, but I really recommend you guys uh, to change the settings to what you actually like. So let's go ahead and get started. And I will have some other things in uh, my game. Like, for example, I might have more storage in the stash space or other, like, loot filter options. You can get loot filters too, but I don't want to overwhelm you guys with too much stuff. It's your first time playing this game. But, yeah, throw me on another monitor and let's get started. So, pick up the bow at the very beginning. Talk to this guy. He'll die. And then, whatever button that you have uh, for your attack, which will usually be on, like, left click in the very beginning, uh, you'll, you'll use that. We just got our first gem. Take the gem, put it in here, and this is going to be our first actual skill. So in this game, you don't get skill points and you just get a new skill. You get gems. Gems are actually skills. So I'm going to put this over on E or I can put it on right click. And we're just going to move and kind of shoot. And we're going to get started. We have so much to cover in this game, so let's just hop right into it. And if you need mana, uh, mana does regen very, very slowly in the very beginning. And then you want to click on this large chest. You can't really miss it. And uh, what this large chest will actually have is a support chip. So we're going to take the momentum and put it. See how these are linked? That means this is our actual skill, which is burning arrow. And we have momentum, which is going to be a support gem. So how it works is if this was not linked, I can't use anything. We have to have burning arrow plus momentum to actually kind of work. So there's support gems and there is active gems. So active gems are the things that are actually skills. And the support gems support it. Now, what does momentum do? Well, we gain stacks of momentum, and it's going to increase our attack speed. And we're going to come up to our first boss. But the first boss is really easy here uh, with our build. Melee in Path of Exile is not very beginner-friendly at all. But yeah, we're just going to kill some stuff, move along. Don't feel like you have to kill every single enemy. And your flasks, like your potions, they refill when you kill enemies. Uh, unless you have some special, like, unique or different things on the passive tree. So this is Hillock. We'll hit him a couple times. And move. You don't want him to hit you because he does big damage. So just keep on hitting him. He'll go down. 
take a little bit of time. And now we'll go pick up, pick up everything. In the very beginning, you can literally pick up every single item, and we're going to go into our first town over here. So to answer your question, since we're also live streaming here, uh, we are going to be playing Lightning Arrow slash Eye Shot. There's a brand new transfigured Eye Shot gem that I kind of want to mess around with. So these are the NPCs. If they have an exclamation mark above their head, you can talk to them. And we're just going to go ahead and now pick up a new skill. So what do we want to pick up? I like either Split Arrow. Eye Shot is definitely great, but it's only going to shoot one. And Split Arrow can be a little bit better for clear speed since we don't have like lesser multiple projectiles yet. I feel like it's way faster for clear speed uh, in the very beginning, but it's up to you what you want to grab. Uh, let's just grab Split Arrow though, because I want faster clear speed. So I'm going to right click on the Burning Arrow, take it out, and I'm going to put Split Arrow in. So now we're going to use Split Arrow and we're going to have basically more arrows. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the coast. Now. Uh, what we're going to do is, this requires us to be level 3, and I'm going to sell all these items to the NPC. So we can go up to the NPC, like Nessa over here, and then we're going to sell items. If I hold control and left click, it's going to put all those items there. We're going to get these little scroll fragments. It's used to buy uh, scroll of identities or scrolls of wisdom. You can also go to purchase items here and see if there's anything that you can get with some scrolls of wisdom that you may be able to use. Like, coral rings are quite great in the very beginning. Um... You can actually get a lot more gems over here as well, but right now we don't really need anything. We could also get Ice Shot uh, if it is available here. Uh, but yeah, if we want to get Ice Shot, we can get Ice Shot to level up. Take care. And even if you don't use the skill, as long as it's in your uh, inventory here, uh, in a item slot, like in our equipment, we can still use it. So we can see if there's anything else that we can make great use of. This is a two green and one red, so that could be maybe something that I will want to uh, purchase. This is a three green. This is going to be something that's definitely useful and I'll probably end up picking that one up. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't have movement speed, but in the very beginning, uh, movement speed is definitely key. I'm going to pick this up for one scroll wisdom. These are all random, by the way. You might not have like the exact one. I'm just going to pick these up because I think we can make some use out of it. And if there's a bow, like this one's three greens too, uh, we can maybe uh, pick that one up as well and see how they're linked. They need to be linked. If they're not linked, then it's not going to work. So we're just going to pick these up, and we're going to utilize these later. And now we're finally going to the coast. I know there's so much information in Path of Exile, but this is this is, uh, this is is how this game is. Next up, we got a skill point. When we level up, we get skill points. We're going to go ahead and open up the passive tree. We're going to start over here, and we're going to get this increased projectile damage. We're going to go all the way over here. We're going to grab a bunch of damage, a bunch of HP, more attack speed. More attack speed is basically more damage. I don't know if uh, mu uh, music is on. Turn on the music here. I usually play music in the background, but since we're doing like a full walkthrough guide, no music. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go uh, from the coast and we're gonna get this item that is called the medicine chest. So if you see any items at the very beginning, pick them up. It's gonna help out. Or if you don't want any of the music, you can turn it off. But I figure since we're doing a full like walkthrough, it'll, it'll be better to have some, some audio. So, in this game, you can see where it says our split arrow has leveled up. The gems level up just like you do, which is really cool. And again, in the very beginning, just start picking up everything. And if there's anything that needs to be leveled up, just level it up. Later, we're not going to... Um, we are not going to uh, level up some of the gems. Go ahead and make sure there's no... Okay, no exit that way. But yeah, so with Split Arrow, we're able to clear out content a little bit more. And don't worry about, like, every single item that needs to be picked up if it drops kind of far away. This is a waypoint. It lets us teleport to the uh, area that we need to go to. Just like in Diablo, you can teleport from town to here with uh, no scroll. So this is brand new. This is part of the Necropolis League. This is... I haven't seen this before. So what this is, is when we go to the next area, we can now peer through the lantern. Uh, can we... Where do we peer through the lantern? Okay. So this is a brand new thing. I don't know what this does. No one knows what this does because it just came out. They actually kind of keep it hidden. So we can peer into the lantern to see the uh, spirits. So I think we get to select. Do we get to select one? Oh, okay. So how this works is there's going to be some sort of modifier. Um, you, and you can move this like modifier to something else. So zombies are quite slow. So I'm going to throw this on the zombies. 
So like them doing increased damage since they're slow, it doesn't really matter as much. But just don't throw on water elementals because uh, yeah, them doing more damage, them slowing you down can be quite difficult. So the new league mechanic forces the league mechanic to be engaged. So how it works is one area we I kill the monsters and I think the next area we get to have like the empowered monsters, but we get some sort of rewards. We'll see how it goes. Pick up any iron rings as uh, it's just more damage. And very soon we're gonna be able to move a little bit faster. So just shoot and move, shoot and move. And this this guy is actually quite difficult. This is actually one of the harder bosses in the well, elites in the game. And that's because he slows you down quite fast. And if you get frozen, you're dead. So shoot and move, shoot and move. And if you do want to download like these little like loot filter options and stuff, um, in the pinned comment, I'll have something for you guys, but for the most part, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Uh, do we need to identify anything? Uh, it's useful. Like, for example, this, we could identify it, and it gives us extra damage. Cool. But we can't use it because we're not level 5. And this one, even though it does less damage because it doesn't have that 3 to uh, 6 extra fire damage, I still want it. And the reason why is because it's 3 linked. That's important. Equip an, our other flask, and we're going to try to get this item called the medicine chest. We already grab it. Okay. Oh, we got it. Okay. So, one thing that's interesting in Path of Exile, I could walk back, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how slow it is, and I'm going to explain why it's way faster to log out as long as you have the waypoints. So, I could walk back to the waypoint, or I could just use a portal scroll. But to save on portal scrolls earlier on, what you want to do is you can actually just log out of the game and i know it sounds strange but this is literally the fastest way to do it even though we're not really necessarily speed running there's a lot of moments where this will be faster so what i'm supposed to do is get the medicine chest go back to town and deliver it now to be faster in the future we're going to be logging out i just want to show you that like yeah this is like the method to do it now we're going to get the quicksilver flask that is our reward and we can also get a, another uh, thing over here. So we can get Pierce, Chance to Poison, Mirage Archer, or Volley, which will give us basically kind of more projectiles. Now this could work with Ice Shot as well. Um, here is where, like, it's kind of up to you. Do you want to use uh, Volley, uh, which basically just gives you extra projectiles? I like this one. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm no longer going to be running Split Arrow. If you like Split Arrow, that's fine. I wouldn't recommend to do Split Arrow plus Volley because then you're going to do a lot less damage. Because volley gives you less damage. And you can see where it says portable skills and it has that check mark. That means it works for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ice shot. I'm going to put it in our boots. Then I'm going to take the volley eventually and put it in there. Now, I don't have access to volley yet because I need to be one more level higher. Because we're level 3 right now. Now with the passive skill point, we're going to go ahead and put another point over here. And so, damage, attack speed, and damage. That's what we've gotten so far. And then again, if there's any NPCs, you can talk to them and then sell all the items that you don't plan to use. Uh, this one, I don't really care too much about it. It's not really that important. Just trying to get rid of some of the stuff that we will not be using. Uh, we don't need the burning arrow anymore. That way we can get these little fragments so we can get more scrolls. And what do we have right now? We have three scrolls of wisdom. What you can buy, uh, you can get, you definitely want to eventually get um, sapphire rings to give you extra uh, cold resistance, but in the very beginning getting the uh, iron rings those are totally fine too If you happen to have uh, enough like scrolls. I only have three scrolls right now So I'll keep it but now. We're gonna go back to the waypoint and we're gonna go back to the coast That's the area that we teleported into And let's go ahead and continue now We're gonna go to the mud flats and this is gonna have that next area now. Should I be moving these over? Uh, to hinder enemies with spells. Oh, okay. So either way, this is just going to make the game harder. I have like really no choice uh, in in order um, of making the game make easier. Ideally, you just usually don't engage in the earlier uh, gameplay mechanics with this game uh, for the new league. And the reason why is because you just want to get to the end game. So we're still using Split Arrow now, but eventually we're going to be using Ice Shot. But if you are enjoying Split Arrow, by all means, keep playing Split Arrow. Uh, these guys that charge you, they are going to be quite tough. Uh, if they hit you, it does do, like, a huge amount of damage, to be honest. I think the music's a little loud. Let me, like, reduce this just by a little bit. Uh, there we go. And you guys can let me know if it's still too loud.
But some of these elites, yeah, it takes a while to kill them. Path of Exile is not an easy game, especially in the earlier stages. L later, surprisingly, the game actually becomes easier as long as you know what you're doing. We've got this core ring, so we have more HP. And we'll eventually get a lot more HP. It's just in the very beginning, I like to get as much attack speed as possible because I want to go fast. All right, since we leveled up, we're going to do a volley. I'm going to move the momentum support over here. Now, if you don't have a three link, it's okay. Just run ice shot plus volley. You'll be okay. We're going to get more attack speed because I want the game to feel good. Oh, we didn't hit save. Okay. What's my opinion on the hate about this game? Uh, wait, hate? I don't really feel like Path of Exile is getting hate. You might be thinking about Diablo or the action RPG. I don't know. Dragon's Dogma, those those two games are kind of under some criticism at the moment, but Path of Exile, I think, is uh, looking pretty solid. So anyways, now that we're at the Mud Flats, uh, what we're trying to do is we're going to look for these three yellow exclamation marks, and they're quest items. Green items are quest items. Pick up all the Scrolls of Wisdom. If you see any item that's kind of in this, like, gold color, and I think the default key is Z as in zebra to show like what you can click on. I just hit Z and it just everything shows up 24 seven until we get our loop filter to be like more strict. And yeah, we're gonna be using this. Oh wait, we need to swap to ice shot now. Ice shot will be way better for damage. Ooh, we got a yellow bow. This might be an upgrade. So Ice Shot is fantastic because it gives us flat damage. Flat damage in the very beginning of the game is super, super good. And now, with the short bow, this could be a pretty nice upgrade. We get uh, accuracy rating 8 to 20. 8 to 20, obviously, better than that one, too. But this requires us to be level 5. And now we can also use our Quicksilver Flask. So the Quicksilver Flask, uh, it's going to be green. And when it fills up, we get to activate it. And uh, you can see its duration over there. Now, popping it multiple times like I just did right there doesn't actually give you double the effect of it but it just gives us more movement speed and those boots are blue but they won't be a good replacement for us because it's not going to give us uh, the links that we need if I find another three like green link then we can maybe make use out of that but for now I'm gonna swap this so this one has a gem in it which is that uh, split arrow I don't need anymore I'm just gonna throw it on the ground but in the very beginning, if you want to pick up a bunch of the stuff to, to go to the NPC and trade, it's totally fine. You'll stop doing it relatively soon. It's only for the first, like, 10 minutes of the game. We really want to try to get as many scrolls of wisdom as possible. But at this point, I have two rings. We'll eventually get an amulet, which would be kind of nice to have. So once you collect three of these little seashells, the objectives, I'm going to go to the little wall throw them in there and now we're going to continue to the submerged passage now as far as moving these things in here uh, i'll put like increased damage they can maim on like skeletons and zombies does it really matter i'd say not really um that much right now i would say the, the better thing to do is probably just keep it pushing go as fast as possible but put like increased damage on like targets that do, maybe don't matter as much like they're easier to kill But in this area, the Submerged Passage, we're actually going to be looking for two specific things. Pop our Quicksilver Flask. In this area, you can be slowed quite a bit. And we just got a little upgrade on our Flask, on our Mana Flask. So we're going to keep, do that. You see, Ice Shot is absolutely shredding. We're basically just one-shotting some of the smaller stuff. Couple shots on the other ones. Yeah, those are definitely getting one shotted, which is good. Yeah, this this build is really really powerful. And what we're looking for is there's two different exits here. Now there's two different strategies actually for this. So if you see the flooded depths, just go in here. There's another exit um, that can lead you to another place. But just go to the flooded depths first. Uh, we're gonna get more attack speed. And let's continue. And there's going to be a boss in here that's going to give us a skill point. If you see any like yellow items, you can pick those up too. You can trade them unidentified and you can get other little small forms of currency. 
New season for PoE? Yes. New season expansion, whatever you want to call it. Season expansion. New league. You can start the league tonight, Blast Pro. Nice. I'll let you know if it's uh, it's any good. There is some new bosses that appear on like these new T17 maps. So that's going to be fun to see at the end game. But we got to get to the end game first. That's the main goal. Is to get to the end game. It's when the, the real excitement starts. But sometimes when there's newer skills to play around with. And we do have a new skill. It's a transfigured gem. Which uh, some of these gems, they may not drop for you. So we can just trade for them. It's probably going to be super cheap is my guess. But there are gems in the game that can be uh, very expensive. But I have no idea if the gem is going to be cheap or expensive. I was actually thinking about uh, for this league to actually play a summoner with the new uh, Wraith Lord helmet. But we don't know if that's going to be super expensive. I would rather not start a league starter on a new unique. Because uh, even though it might not be super rare... Sometimes, in the very beginning, to require a unique in a build um, can be kind of hard. I like how that monster just didn't get hit by any of those. <laughs> there we go. I got the light, another life flask over here. But yeah, if you die at all during the, you know, the playthrough, don't worry. The game is not easy. Path of Exile is probably one of the hardest action RPGs, unless you have a guide. All right, so uh, more skill point. Now we get ballistics, more dexterity. And in this game, dexterity will give us accuracy, so it's just a chance to hit. It's important to still have for sure, but it's not like a uh, main stat in Diablo where it just gives you damage. All right, this is going to be excellent. So this is something new. Now you may not see this, but this is going to be a essence of hatred. So if I kill this, oh, that's quite difficult. Wow. Okay, this is. A modified essence over here uh, like it's a boss so this might be actually quite challenging so just shoot and move don't really want to get hit by him because he can slow you down and then he will do massive damage but just shoot and move shoot and move that's the key a lot of uh, enemies especially if you're playing range in the very beginning it's just shoot once or twice even in the end game for the bosses you take a couple shots and you move and then he will drop the essence. So we're going to be picking up that essence over here, which is really nice. And then if you see any sapphire rings, pick them up. We're going to want them for the boss of this act because it does a lot of cold damage. All right. And let's keep it going. So we're going to walk back. Some instances, it's faster to go and uh, just escape, go back to town. And we're going to do that eventually once we get to the waypoint of the next area. Because when we turn, uh, the Dweller in, uh, the name of the quest is Dweller in the Deep. That's going to give us a skill point. If you've ever played Diablo uh, 2, some quests in this game will award skill points. And I'll show you guys all the important quests to do. It'll also be there in the pinned comments. Of all the other bonus things that, if you want to learn how to do a loot filter and these other tools that I have. Like, uh, there's also Awakened Peewee Trade. We'll talk more about that later. But there's just so much to learn with this game. Alright. So, oh, you know what? It's probably this way right down here. So, so what else do we got? We got this, uh, this is pretty good. It's gonna give us cold rest for the boss. Then we have the Essence of Hatred. Uh, I want to put this on. So I put this on a bow, it gives me cold damage, which is great, because we do cold damage with our ice shot. We could also throw that on the boots, actually. I'll probably throw it on the boots, because we have a three link on the boots. And ideally, I want to try to get movement speed on my boots. It's going to be an upgrade right there. Another level up, okay. And this game, by the way, does not pause, so... We're going to grab this one over here, and then we'll get some more HP. Uh, so what we want to do right now is we want to see if this thing is better. Okay, cool. We re regen some life. It's going to be better. And then in order to modify it, you can see I can't just do this. I have to unequip it. Then I get to modify it. Did we get movement speed? Ah, oh, gave us life 
but no movement speed. On boots, you want to try to get movement speed. Most of the campaign, and you want to get uh, as much movement speed as possible because most of the campaign is walking around. It's getting from point A to point B. So from the submerged passages, we want to go to the ledge. Like I said, uh, you can modify these and you can move these things around, but I wouldn't worry too much about that uh, in the very beginning. It might matter in the super late game, but I think the fastest thing to do is just get to the end game. Like, our build's not going to worry too much about them dealing 20% more damage, because most of the stuff just dies so fast. It's not a problem. Oh, what we just grabbed over there, by the way, is a shrine. The Diablo. Yeah, it's just like Diablo. It's a shrine. But later, we won't have to pop any more mana potions. We're actually going to get a mobility skill when we go back next time, too. Which is going to be Dash. But I'm going to try to go back at once. You actually get it, I think, when you get the medicine chest. Which will make our build a little bit faster. Oh, we got a superior one. So superior one means that it has quality. Which will make it give me more of, like, whatever numbers it's giving us. It's our first amulet right there. So once we're at the waypoint, I'm going to go back into town. So again, town is going to be the little one that has a green house on it. Looks like the Monopoly greenhouse. You click on it, and it'll let you go back to town. And then, uh, I mean, if I get another essence, we can maybe hit that with an essence and maybe get lucky. So what we want to do is we want to get, uh, I like to get Shrapnel Ballista. You can get uh, the Sniper's Mark for bosses as well. But I'm going to grab Shrapnel Ballista over here. And then we're also going to grab Dash. You managed and we're also going to get a skill point uh, book. We right click on it and it gives us a passive point. Now, important thing, Shrapnel Ballista, put that somewhere. Now I can also get another support gem for Shrapnel Ballista. If I go to Nessa and I go to purchase, I can type in the word sup and it's going to go through all the support ones. So which one do I want to support with? You can see where it has the check box. Uh, that's what I want to go ahead and look for. Uh, is any of these good? So this is... This is uh, actually pretty useful. I want to grab one of these so I can level it up. So I'm going to grab one of those. And then, it doesn't really matter too much. I don't think this one's going to be super important for it, but I'm just going to grab one to level up in case I get another uh, slot to uh, have them linked. So at the moment, this Coral Amulet could probably be replaced if I see something better. So let's see what else we have. We have some Jade Amulets, but nothing else too good. Uh, actually, getting the Mana Regen could be nice as well. But again, if you see sapphire rings, don't hes don't hesitate to pick up these sapphire rings. I think the guy's got some like uh, skin or something that does that sound. Anyways, we're gonna go back to the ledge over here. Now that we've uh, done that, we got our quest complete, and now we're gonna run with dash. Oops, I need to put in dash too. So we threw in the shrapnel ballista, but we also want to throw in dash somewhere. You see, I have no room. Uh, well, I'm gonna remove the momentum support. Sometimes you're not gonna be able to. Th throw in everything that you want at the moment, and that's fine. So now we're going to be spamming dash as we're moving. So I'm going to... Basically, I can hold Q and W, and then I can just hit E when I want to. And that's going to let us do a little short dash, which is going to make us a little bit faster while doing the campaign. Pick up all the scrolls of wisdoms, all the scrolls of portals. You'll want them for later. Level up. Nice. Transmutation. We'll talk about all the little forms of currency in this game. Because the Path of Exile, you don't have gold. You buy stuff with other things that use uh, modifiers on items. I don't know what my loot filter is real quick. Uh, let me see what it's set up for. Uh, let's see. Options. Uh, let's see. Whoops. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, that's fine. Ooh. Oh, I have a different loot filter on, but it's fine. I'm not going to worry too much about the loot filters now. Over we'll regret. Nice. That'll let us refund a skill point. So in this game, you can mess up your character, but you can tactically refund the points, but you're going to have to have the item that lets you do it. 
see if we get us something good on this at all. Cap. Ooh, or alchemy, that's good. So pick all those up. I think we actually have no loot filter at the moment set up, but it's fine. It's not really required at the moment. Sometimes what happens is some update comes out and it'll mess up with the loot filter because there's newer things that don't exist in the game. So this guy actually is kind of tough. So uh, I have to, I have shrapnel ballistas, so I'm going to throw these up. These are little turrets. Don't step in the, the blue areas because those will do damage. I'm going to level up all of these gems too. Okay, so what did we get off of him? Well, there's a portal scroll. That's about it. But now we have Ice Shot and we have Shrapnel Ballista. Shrapnel Ballista is just used for pretty much the elites, but you may be able to get away with throwing these down. If it's like one-shotting, you can just throw these down and move, and it'll usually clear up the enemies, so that's great. You can use it as your main skill if you enjoy it. It's kind of up to you, and that's the awesome thing with Path of Exile. It's totally up to you on how you want to play the game. Uh, I like to get the extra... Um, Attack speed again. Attack speed in this game in the very beginning is it just makes the build feel much better. I'm gonna grab these extra um, things over here, and then we're gonna get resistances and extra movement speed. Kind of just breeze through the game. And this is another essence. I recommend doing all the essences. So this is where shrapnel ballista becomes very handy because you can set all these up. Now we can only uh, summon three uh, at the moment. I'm trying to get touched by those red balls if you happen to see them. So what do we get? Uh, we got some gloves maybe that could be an upgrade. So let's go ahead and identify them, see if they're an upgrade. Okay, cool, there's an, oh, oh, but you see this ruins Mirage Archer support. Well, later we'll get Mirage Archer uh, in our build as well. Cause right now we have a volley. Uh, we also have momentum support. We can actually drop the momentum and run uh, Mirage Archer. I'll show you what it does to just so I can kind of give you guys some variety. Also, Dash lets you go through objects. Uh, well, I shouldn't say just through objects. It lets you go through some gates. And also, like, if you're moving up and down terrain, uh, Dash is really great for that. Yeah, let's just keep it going. Let's see if we have any other items. We have Orb of Alchemy, so we can convert a white item into a yellow item. So it was basically like the way that you craft in this game. The crafting in this game is really awesome. So much flexibility, but so much RNG. Oh, we came across Legion. Oh, it's very early for like Legion to be in this. Okay. I'm going to show you guys all the different mechanics. And some of these, you may not come across the exact same time, but you'll eventually come across them, so I'm going to explain them. So how these monoliths work is, again, we're going to set up our little turrets. And how it works is you click on them, a bunch of monsters will spawn. It might not be the smartest thing to open up these now because it might be too hard for our character because uh, this is kind of more for usually end game. We'd want to engage in it. But you kill all the monsters, they're kind of frozen, and then you're going to kill the monsters again. So whatever you kill gets to become, I guess, like alive. You're kind of like awakening these statues. And you may see some like chests. Uh, on top of like the enemy's head and that means that's the reward this might be very very dangerous and once the timer goes down all those monsters that you killed well you get to kill them again so there's some boots right there let's see if these are upgraded if the boots have movement speed we swap and we're going to uh see if we can get an upgrade again pick up any of the sapphire rings that you find very very useful Oh, this is Mirage Archer. Above our head, it's going to also shoot out our Ice Shot. When I activate Ice Shot for a little uh, brief moment, it will also shoot out Ice Shot. Which is awesome. I also play some cool music. Alright, so let's see if these boots are an upgrade. No movement speed, don't want them. I mean, I could go sell these at the vendor. All right, let's keep it going. So now we really need to look for a three green uh, in some other area. So that could be chest piece. Ideally, we look for something that has four. It goes up to six in armor as well as in uh, weapons. But if you come across certain uh, elites that do a lot of damage, that's normal. Path of Exiles, not very beginner friendly at all. Oh, we've got our first quiver. That would only 
Uh, we're definitely going to want this quiver. Uh, this is probably going to be better because we can identify it. Let's grab this quiver, and we're going to identify it. Ooh, nice. Two different damages on it. And if you ever want to check your damage, uh, you can just hold, uh, hit C as in cat. You can go to this, and it'll show you the damage per second. You can see, even though this only gives us 3 to 5 and 2 to 3, which would be 5 to 8 damage, it's giving us uh, 27 damage. So all of your damage will get scaled off of whatever plus percent whatever that you have, like the plus damage when you have a bow or plus fire damage, cold damage, all that stuff. It really adds up. So yeah, we're going to go from the climb and just keep going. Keep going until we get to the lower prison. So in here, there is going to be an area where we will do what's called a trial of ascendancy. We're going to advance to our super class later. So we start off as the ranger, but we're going to become a dead eye. And so to engage with the super class, we have to do these trials. So there's like these bo bronze monographs. They say some cool stuff, but I'm just going to mute it for now. And if you want to listen to any of the part of the story or whatever, feel free to. But this is the kind of like a little mini game. It's uh, basically a spike trap that you can follow. And then you hit this lever and the spike traps will be coming back. And you have these little checkpoints here so you don't take damage. And ideally, you can go through like two of these and then you can wait for it to come by. Or you can just run through and just take all the damage. Uh, it's up to you. It does do quite a bit. You'll see how much it does. I popped the potion. But if you don't pop a potion, uh, yeah, you can die pretty fast with these traps. So it's almost like a test of your skill. This one works in a checker pattern, but you can cheat by just going to the side over here and then just using dash and it just goes up. <laughs> so ideally right now, we try to look for uh, like a three link. Uh, two three links would be probably one of the, the better ones. What does this one give us right now? It's giving us life regen. It's pretty like mediocre in terms of the effects. So this might be like, okay to grab. Let's see. 56. I mean, the stats are kind of better. We don't, oh, we don't have enough intelligence. Later, we will be getting this, so that'll be kind of nice, but I'm not going to be able to use it now. So you just click on the Ascendancy plaque, go through the portal, and you'll be good. Yeah, that's in the lower prison. So just shoot once or twice, move along. You can see the Mirage Archers also shooting our Ice Shot, which is great. Oh, oh, you're talking about Mana Forge Errors. Yeah, uh, we'll get Mana Forge Errors later. When my league's starting, we're doing Ice Shot with the trans new Transfigured Gem is the plan. Uh, but we may go Lightning Arrow at some point. And you could run whatever you want. Devoted to Prospero. So with this whole thing, I don't know what we're supposed to do with it. I think we're, we may need to go to like a new area or something when we kill the enemies. Oh, there's the exit right there. And sometimes some of these maps may be a little bit different for the campaign. Like your map might not look exactly the same. Because it's an action RPG. Usually the maps are kind of random. But there are some areas that are always going to be the same. If you see elites like this where the name is like different. See how it has a little like bronze border. You can activate your traps or your um, shrapnel ballistas. Remember the game doesn't pause so don't. Don't open up your skill tree. I know it's overwhelming to kind of see that at the start, but don't worry. I can see it. Okay, so final pack spawns the nameless seer on death. Okay, so that's going to spawn something when it dies. Oh, let's put in the skill point. So we can get some more damage or we can get more HP. So I'm going to grab this first and then we're going to come back and grab this for more movement speed because movement speed is king. Later, we'll get the added cold damage support. Because I like to one-shot things versus small damage by hitting a lot of times. Because that way I can shoot once and just kind of keep moving. Because even in, if you get a huge amount of attack speed, it just means your stuff is going to cost more mana. But I still want attack speed because it messes with the animation where you can attack and then kind of continue moving. 
I think it's pretty massive to do that. Oh, what are we coming across? This is uh, this is, might be brand new league mechanic. Little box over there. I haven't seen that. Oh, so I get to collect this? Oh, I'm gonna speak to the Undertaker. This is brand new. Oh, let's see what this is. This is brand new. I've never seen this before. No one's seen this because it just came out today. So I think we, we're going to visit the Necropolis. I'm just going to do it for the sake of doing it. Maybe we can modify our items. So how this should work. Oh, increase caster modifiers. Oh. So how this works is uh, you bury the corpse over here. And then what you'd want to do is if I was to craft something. Uh, let's see. Let's see, Like we want bows, right? So that you oh, it just instantly. Oh, so it just gives target. us a bow. Oh, cool. Oh, it just straight up gives us the bow. I thought we were going to have to kill stuff. So I guess we just kill things and then um that's just 10 to 26 so that's a little bit more it gives us accuracy increased physical damage 10 to 26 uh i think this is going to be a little bit better so i'm just going to swap it so strapped up ballista dash going in uh what does this give us uh that's going to be better than this uh we can see if this is better uh 21 it's kind of like whatever it doesn't really matter but it does give us another green gem socket but i don't really need it that bad so we just got a free bow by just going over there and just clicking on it. So, uh, what did it give us? Uh, a little bit of an upgrade. Wait, what is this? Kept, oh, this is strong box, okay. Some of these strong boxes, by the way, will have traps and it'll instantly freeze you as soon as you open up. Or it'll do something like it'll explode. Oh, Quicksilver, that's great. We just got two Quicksilver flasks, wow. That's fantastic. So, what we're gonna do is if you get three of the same flask, you can um, you can upgrade it at the vendor. But I want I want, I just want to run three quicksilver flasks. But for now, we'll just run two because I want to go as fast as possible. Again, your goal in Path of Exile is get to the end game as quickly as possible. So we're going to be doing that. We'll build this league. So we're doing uh, the new transfigured ice shot, which we don't have yet, but. Some skills you don't get at the very beginning. Oh, also, if we're bleeding, if you move, you're going to take more damage, is how it works. Looks like we're able to do a pretty good amount of damage here. Ideally, though, we get added cold damage, throw that in with our Shrapnel Ballista, and also throw that in our build. Sure we could maybe remo remove a Mirage Archer hard. for it. But we if I had a 4 link, the then we'd just throw it in. But yeah, we want to keep all these sapphire rings. We're going to want to get two of them for the boss. So, after you get two, you can delete whatever one is bad or just sell it to the vendor. So, we're coming up to a boss over here. This boss is actually really easy for our build. But some builds, they can struggle with this one. It's not an easy boss. Especially for melee. Melee in Path of Exile is still really rough. It needs some massive reworks. You knew Detonate Dead? Yeah, it seems Detonate Dead is, has been popular. For a very long time. I know a lot of people are rolling at this league. So, just shoot and move. The great thing with these shrapnel ballistas is they also have HP. So they will also tank damage for you. So like, this this looks really easy. But for a lot of people, this boss fight is no joke. Oh, I dropped a shrapnel ballista. Which we already have. Let's go ahead and continue, and let's uh, identify this item. Cool. Now, this one gives us intelligence, so if I kept that other armor, it would be A-OK. -okay. But what does this give us? Int. Uh, so this gives us cold res, which is good, and that's cold res and mana, and then we get mana per kill. Small, but it all will add up. Let's go to the next zone. So it looks like eventually when we kill enough enemies, we just get some sort of, like, we can craft anything at the little cemetery. So we've engaged with the League Mechanic without even really needing to do much, which is awesome. Because sometimes these League Mechanics, they're super tedious, they take 10 to 15 minutes, or they'll take a long time to do. And the rewards, sometimes they feel underwhelming because you just get unlucky. And that leads to people not wanting to do the League Mechanic. Because this is a forced League Mechanic. No matter what, some of these enemies will have 20% more damage, chance to do something on hit. And so this League is actually going to be quite harder. Especially if you put like 20% more damage on Roas, which already do an insane amount of damage when they charge. 
that's kind of rough, man. Yeah, we're just gonna go follow the path. So you can see there's kind of like this path and a lot of areas in Path of Exile will have this little path that you can follow. Make sure you continuously level up your this gems. She's just gonna lock this area out, but we will go to the second act and uh, we will be able to go through that area later. You can do Vault Lightning Arrow, nice, yeah. I like Vault Ice Shot the most, it's really good for bosses. The thing with the Vault Lightning Arrow that I didn't really like is like, sometimes the positioning really matters. And with Vault Ice Shot, you don't even, you can play with your eyes closed and just shoot anything and it just targets it. Pretty much, so it's really great. So look on the edges over here. Yeah, look at that. We're pretty much one to two shotting everything. Which is exactly what we want to see. So, oh, also to mention like some of the hotkeys. If you see that I keep on hitting tab, it's because sometimes it's hard to see. Like there's not enough info by just looking at the top right. I want to get a rare quiver. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that Orba Alchemy. Even though I'd probably recommend you guys to keep it. I'm going to use it for the sake of showing you guys how it works. It's not like a super rare item, it's like a whatever. But I could trade it technically for a uh, unique later if I was to go ahead and want to. And it's probably smarter to do that, but I'm just doing it for the sake of science. So you can see now I have all these other stats. we got some extra life. That's going to be better than what we've got, pretty much. Because accuracy and yeah, which is cool. Then we have another skill point. We're going to get this, some more damage. More attack speed, but is more attack speed is more damage. But uh, what you want to try to get is chaos orbs. Chaos orbs at the very beginning, that's like your go-to like forms of currency that you're going to be trading people for other items, and we'll talk more about trading later. Hopefully, we'll get another alchemy or something so I can get like a Roth's Reach in the very beginning, and I'll show you guys what the item does. It's going to give us something called Chain, which is really awesome. So there's an Elite over here. Unique enemy, so get him down. They'll drop more loot. So you definitely want to try to if you can't kill the like Elites. And then we're eventually going to go from Prisoner's Gate to the Ship Graveyard. Another passive point over here. And what I want to get is this one over here. There's this extra increased damage, and there's also crit and damage over time. We don't do damage over time with our build. So we're going to get this extra accuracy. Accuracy is our chance to hit. But you generally don't have too much of a problem with a chance to hit for uh, dexterity builds. And the reason why... And uh, we just found Fargraves, which is going to be the next quest. But the reason why... Oh, we got Molten Shell. Which we can actually throw on a red if we had the strength required. <laughs> but yeah, with dex builds, you don't really need uh, dexterity. But in this area, you do want to find Fargraves if you can. So we know he's right there. He's to the right of the uh, waypoint. And with the waypoints, you got to click on him. So like, if you ever think, oh, did I click on the waypoint? Just go back and go touch it. Otherwise, you'll, you'll maybe accidentally waste a bunch of time. But Fargraves is usually to the right of the waypoints. So we're looking for this little underground area. And then we're gonna be messing around with some lightning arrow, which is super, super, super good. Very soon. We've got lightning arrow, and we'll go to the next area. So I'm not sure exactly how this new mechanic works yet. Because it's brand new. Wow, these guys are super tanky. These, oh, it said servant of, so it's probably had like Increase HP or something like get 30 increased life for each monster in the pack. Yeah, so yeah, I could tell like I've, I've played this game so much that like I could tell if something feels a little off and I felt like that thing had way way more HP cold res huge Huge and if you want to check out you can just click on the defenses tab So hit C as in cat to open up the character sheet and then you can see our uh, resistances on our character. So you can see our cold res is 28%. Cold res is the only thing that really matters in the, the first act. The rest of the stuff, eh, I wouldn't really worry too much about it in the first one. Eventually you're gonna get res capped. 
Like as in, you'll, you'll have 75 to all res or even higher. But in the early stage, it doesn't really matter too much. Except for, for cold res. Uh, for the bo first boss. So the first boss uh, that we come across in the act... The, the first boss in this game is actually... Probably one of the hardest bosses in the game. I know it sounds strange, but it's because there's just so much going on for the first boss. Oh, there's another strong box. That's cool. This is a this is a new like addition. It shows you where the strong box is on the map, and that's good because that's quality of life for us uh, in our build for the end game. And the reason why is we get strong boxes. So these wet stones and armor scraps. What they do is they increase the numerical stats. So if this has more quality. You can see where it goes from 10 to 26. It's still 10 to 26. It's still 10 to 26. Well, it's going to need more. But the more quality we have, the more damage that it will deal. And for the armor, it's going to give you more armor or evasion rating, energy shield. Which, uh, we haven't talked about energy shield. So while we're playing right here, talk about what energy shield is. So energy shield goes above your HP. It's kind of like barrier if you play Diablo. So that gets consumed first, but you can move the shield to actually be a form of mana. There's a lot of crazy things that you can do in Path of Exile that you normally would not see in action RPGs, which is one reason why I love this game so much. Very, very awesome game. Let's keep it going. We're looking for this underground spot. Remember, you can hold down your dash, but right now we're in the uh, situation where mana is kind of an issue, which is normal for like all builds. In the earlier stage but later we'll never have to pop a mana potion again it's fantastic i like to rush that because i like the smooth autoplay experience and all of our flasks we won't even have to touch our heels anymore it just automatically activates i'll make it very easy for you guys very very beginner friendly build everything's going to be super automated anything good here any three greens nope okay so we have the slave girl we'll click on her get the all flame so, there's always going to be an exit here, but you can see... Uh, actually, Far Graves is right next to it this time. I wonder if they made that in the new update. Sometimes they update the game for quality of life. And this might have been one of the updates. So, Friends, talk to Far Graves, and he's going to try to kill you. Go ahead and throw down our little shrapnel ballistas. But yeah, don't waste... Your uh, little currencies. I'm just some of these. I'm just showing you how it works. Like the chromatic orbs convert the colors. So like if I had like something that uh, I'd want more blues, more greens, whatever, that would help out. Uh, this one's gonna be better. Sweet. We get two different like sources of damage type. In the very beginning, just anything that gives you numbers is what you want to try to shoot for. So. Uh, as in plus to cold, fire, like the flat numbers, not like the percent. So now that we've killed him, we're going to go actually go back. So we can log out of the game or we can go back to the little waypoint. This one's close by. And depending on your computer's load time too, that can factor in. If it's better to log out. I'm going to go talk to the NPC. We're going to get some rewards. So we can get less for multiple projectiles, faster attacks, or added cold damage. I like to get the added cold cold damage mana forged arrows is actually really good for uh, a lot of things we can get that later as well that just makes it so another skill will activate so we're gonna get this added cold damage talk to bestel get the skill point and we can also talk to tarkley and we get another one so we get precision smoke bind blink arrow whirling blades we're gonna take up precision and it's gonna give us extra accuracy and it's gonna be our first aura that we're gonna run pop that book skill then we're gonna go ahead and pump one into this because we get five percent movement speed which is i think our first movement speed here i'm gonna go ahead and sell uh, the rest of the items here that we're not using uh this is like okay we could maybe use it because we can convert it with a essence later so uh like i said we do want two sapphire rings so if you don't get one you can go ahead and pick another one up get the one that has the highest numbers so this one's like 27 here uh we have four scrolls of wisdom and yeah, sure we'll go ahead and pick up one in case i don't get another one and if there's anything else that you want to get, you can get uh, from the NPC. Uh, this is just 150. Okay, so already have that one. We'll get rid of some of the things we don't need. Uh, like I don't need that. And we're gonna go ahead and continue. Welcome. So we can check if they have any uh, boots with movement speed because I really would like to get it. You can also type in NN and that will give you movement speed. Uh, 
as a, like, it'll highlight the item, like, in terms of its, like, uh, stats. We're also looking for anything that could be possibly used for, like, the link colors. Like, this is three green. We want three green, but we don't use shields for our build. So, ideally, in the gloves or boots or armor category, that's what we would want. Didn't get it. Unlucky. Farewell. That happens. Also, we can get our first aura. So, we're going to throw in our precision gem that we got. Hello. We can also purchase other gems. So, if there's anything that you want, uh, like, I think vitality is great to get. Uh, and I'll show you what that does. Because I'll show you what clarity does since we actually have the gem socket open. We're going to get both of these. I like to get both of these earlier on. This one requires us to get strength. So, I don't have any items that give us strength now. But we may get an item that drops that gives us plus to strength. So, that will help. But we're going to go back to the ship graveyard and keep it going and now i'm going to show you guys what precision does so this is an aura so i activate it and it's going to give us extra accuracy rating we don't really have accuracy problems but this is something to factor in our chance to hit is already 100 percent but i'm just going to do it anyways so i'm going to activate it now because i want to level up so you can see where it says reserve 32 that means i lose 32 of my maximum mana some will reserve a percent some will reserve a um Uh, a flat number now as these level up some of these you may not want to level up like we're gonna use precision at the end game so I can level this one up it's totally fine but in the very beginning I don't really I don't really don't need this one to be honest but uh, I, can, I can unactivate it and I can still level it up so I can use it in the end game these these are the row uh, the rows that I was talking about these things hit really hard when they charge going oh we could actually swap the added cold damage here instead of uh, mirage archer because i'd rather just shoot once and kill everything <laughs> so we gotta find the exit of this area let's see what's this way sometimes there's like that little small sliver in any action rpg uh this one over here will give us mana which is not bad but we only really need the the cold res now Actually, what, what was this one linked with? Oh, it was linked with Dash. Uh, I don't really need Precision that bad right now. I'd rather have... Um, I guess these were both momentum. Ideally, we'd just add, get another added cold damage. Oh, there's... Uh, that's the one we just dropped. Okay, so next up, what I want to do... You can get extra resistances. I actually think the resistances are great. This also gives us elemental damage, so it's like both. This is really great to get eight to uh, resistances. Now we're gonna go grab the waypoint, and this is gonna be the boss coming up over here. So now you definitely want to make sure you have your sapphire rings ready to go for the boss. We don't need to equip them until we get to like the gate, because maybe I'm gonna get one that's better. And then I don't have to uh, roll that one. I wonder if you can make the bosses harder with the, uh, the mod. You can't beat PoE? Well, hey, this is your chance, man. I got, I'm uploaded right now. We're doing the full walkthrough and guide, so it'll be up on YouTube later, but, uh, it'll be the full walkthrough. So you, you literally cannot mess this up. Like I'm here to walk through the whole game with you. I'll explain all the little things and all the little like currencies. I'll show you guys how to trade items. Okay. So we're getting up to the cavern of anger. So before you used to like want to throw up a portal scroll, we actually haven't even messed around with it, but this is what you used to. You used to right click on this and then you'd have a portal scroll and then you'd go back in. So what, what do we have right here? Well, this over here can be changed. Uh, now, let's see if we have, we have an orbit. We can use this orbit chance and we can convert it into a random rarity. Let's see what we get. So it converted it and we got a pretty nice thing. So this gives us cold res, some extra life. It's really small, but I want both of these. So what is our cold resistance gonna look like? Our cold resistance right now is 83, but it, you can only go up to 75. You can go a little bit higher if you have something special. Oh, another thing is clarity. I'm gonna put this on. Remember how precision like ate up our mana? Same thing with clarity. But what this does is it gives us more mana regen. So even though we lose mana, 
it's still kind of worth it because it's going to give us more mana in terms of its uh, regen. So yeah, we'll be coming up to the boss very, very soon. In one moment. We should level up these gems first. We'll get one more level up on these gems. Got a dead end. So with clarity, we can level it up a few times, but you don't want to level up too much because then you won't have any H or uh, any mana. Like it'll start absorbing too much. But with maxed out cold res, we should be good because there's a lot of things that do cold damage here too. So suddenly, finally popped it right before going in. Yeah, there's going to be a boss coming up very, very soon. Another dead end, unfortunately. It's usually going to be up and, I would say, up over here. It, it, ideally, you just try to get as far away as you can from, like, the entrance. Ooh, something did a lot of damage there. Accuracy rating. Strongest monster pack gets 400% increased item. Oh, okay. That is an upgrade. You can also upgrade your flasks too. That is a, a thing. But don't feel like you uh, have to just use your ice shot. You can use split arrow if you enjoy it. You can use the burning arrow. Use whatever you want. I mean, personally, I'm going to suggest ice shot because I mean, it's just deleting content. Bow has always been one of the strongest builds, I think, for starters. Absolution is pretty good too though. That's a like a summoner build. I, I really like that for leveling The downside though is that uh, there's not enough movement speed in that this part of the tree All right, so we're gonna get this extra resistance and damage so it's like defenses and offenses Last Epoch lost your attention uh, as far as action RPGs go. I mean, I like uh, action RPGs, so I had a good 200 hours with the game. Like, I wasn't, like, mad or anything when I played that game. I was just like, oh, I had my fun with it, and that's okay. I'll come back if they have a new league and it's fun. I'll mess around with it. If they have a new, like, class or something, a new expansion pack comes out, I'll buy it. A new If they add, like, a new act, another class, I'd go back and have another 20, 30 hours of fun, probably. All right, here's the exit right here. So exits are always like the, the door. And the very first act is kind of the longest act because there's so much to explain. But let's go ahead and get started with the uh, the boss. Oh, we're so close to leveling up all of our gems. But this is Mervel. So ideally, you just stand behind your turrets and it makes this boss fight a lot easier. And when there's little ice shards coming down, you just don't get hit by him. Oh, there we go. Level up all the gems. Sound like... Okay, so the reason why she's so hard is there's so many, like, things that are going on here, right? You'll see that uh, there's monsters that come out. She shoots out things that slow you down. There's all these water geysers that also... Um, do damage, slow you down. She's actually one of the more difficult bosses in the game. As far as the campaign goes, I'd say she's one of the hardest ones. Um, it was a super, super breeze. You saw, rolled, rolled the boss, no problem to get movement speed. Nope. 12 to 43, so this is more damage. Now, uh, I don't have the correct like gem colors, so what we can do is we can use the chromatic orb to convert the colors of some other item. Now, do I really need to run momentum support? Not, well, actually, we can run both of these. This is totally fine. 
So our damage, uh, and, or if you want to check your damage, because we kind of swapped these gems around. So I go to offense, you can see damage per second right here. This is only important. I know my face is blocking the rest, but you see the damage per second over here, 307. If I swap it to this, 325. Small numbers, but hey, everything adds up. And that's just how this game is. Uh, any small increments of upgrade is an upgrade, because when you get plus, let's say, like, you know, 30, 40% damage, that is now going to start scaling off of all of, like, the, you know, 25 even though it's 25 flat number increase in terms of like the DPS that's shown. It's all gonna add up. And now if we want to stop running the Sapphire Ring, what else did we have? I'm gonna swap this one. I don't need that one anymore. Oh wait, actually, this is the one we want. Oh, this is doing a lot of damage, hold on. It's <laughs> a lot of damage. This is the one we want to swap. We want to swap off the blue one. Uh, what is this one? Two to four fizz. It's a, such a small amount. Uh, we can g get this, and if we have an essence... Like, this is what I like with essences. We're going to get another bow very soon anyways. But I like to use essences on boots until I get movement speed, or like a weapon until I get something good, so... Oh, is that a three? No, it's a two. Now, you can actually link the, the sockets, but it's not really worth it in the very beginning. But dang, Ice Shot is so good. It, oh, this is definitely like a buffed up monster. It has, does it have double buffs? It has double buffs. So it's devoted to Rasaya, and then it has, has unresolved anguish. Oh, now, ooh, okay. So let's go ahead and do this. So it's gonna collect the beast. This, again, is part of the new mechanic. We're gonna go do it. Because this is the new Necropolis League. Let's go talk to him and then visit Necropolis. And let's go ahead and get a uh, elemental modifier. So the way I see this is we're going to do it and we're going to... So what you can do is you can get more of these corpses. But I'm just going to craft this immediately because I want to show you guys it. So elemental modifiers would be something that gives elemental. I think it's going to be worth it to go for a uh, weapon right here. Or it could be good for jewelry. Do, can we select amulet? Because our amulet right now is pretty terrible. Like, it's not really useful for us. So, uh, this might not be that bad. Um, getting a bow with elemental could be really good, too. You know what? I, th I think the smart play is still the bow, though. So that you may help them find All right, target. what do we get? Is it good? All right, that probably is an upgrade. Let's check our damage. Remember, the first one, 325. 490. Woo! Big upgrade. Big upgrade. Nah, we're going to have to move those gems, and I don't really need to keep these anymore, because this is probably going to be better than what we're going to be using for quite some time. Well, so as far as the League mechanic being engaging and worth doing the very beginning, oh, a thousand percent. Just getting any random rare item is is pretty nice, that so you can just, like, select what you want, and it has the modifiers. What you're supposed to do is how this League mechanic works is, you're supposed to get, um... Like plus elemental, and then let's say you get like you want like crit mo modifiers or something like that, or um, whatever modifiers that would work for your build. I don't know what exactly can roll on it. I don't know if you can get guaranteed movement speed, cold damage, or whatever. Like we want cold damage because right now we're doing cold. Later we can do lightning. We can just do elemental. Like elemental would be really good, and it rolled lightning, which is fine. It also rolled with fire res. I mean, everything is really good on the item. Very good stuff. So now we've completed Act 1, guys. So congratulations. If you made it, we got 10 acts total. And trust me, the game will get way faster and way better as we progress. But that is going to be wrapping it up. We've completed all of Act 1, Part 1 of our Path of Exile playthrough. If you guys enjoyed the video, though, drop a like on it. And Part 2 will be out very soon. So if you want to see it, this is your first time here. Subscribe, turn the bell. And I'll see you guys in Part 2 of our Path of Exile playthrough. The walkthrough guide for the Necropolis. Peace out.